And w w when do you sit there and say, how did the teachers not know? How did the principal not know? Do you ever wonder about the authority figures in school? Well, definitely. I think <clears throat> even in, in Michelle's case of what was going on, in our case, you know, people at the school, the police department, and other parents knew that end of school year hazings had been going on. Mm -hmm. So that we, we've had this culture in all of our schools of, oh, it's not going to hurt anybody. We all live through it. You know, right. it, it happens to everybody. And every one of us has a bullying story, mm -hmm. you know, right. and we keep it. And maybe better prepare your children, like, hey, you know, if, if anyone does this to you, you know, don't take it for what it is, don't take it personally. I mean, we all, like you said, we all have bullying stories. Yeah. I I've was tormented as a child as well, so I can completely understand. I'm just, I, when I, where I grew up, teachers didn't seem to know what to do, so I think that that's great that parents are stepping up to the plate mm -hmm. and trying to make sure that, you know, something gets changed. And I know that Michigan is now implementing a new law, and we're going to be talking about that in just a bit because, the, I mean, this, these are stories you hear every day. And mm -hmm. when is it kids being kids versus something really needs to be done about this? So, of course, we're going to actually have Kevin and Michelle back with us in just a minute after this break. So stay tuned as Street Beat continues. Welcome back to Street Beat. While some students run from bullies, one organization encourages kids to put their gloves on. Here with me now is Gloves On 